Hello everyone, this is a general reading. If this reading resonates, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also in the description section, I will have my email if you like a personal reading. Also, I have PayPal information and Cash App if you like to support the channel financially. So let's get into this reading. If I already post some cards. For the first card, we have the King of Wands upright. Um, this indicates that you are truly progressing on your spiritual path. But spirit don't want you to rush too fast or too far. Remember, Rome wasn't built in one day. So take some time and stop and smell the roses as this will be a lifelong journey of exploration and discovery. So don't just, as soon as you find out some spiritual truths or just some new spiritual practices, spirit wants you to take your time and just really um, get into it. Don't just take one aspect of a new spiritual practice and go around thinking like that's all to it. It's so much more. Um, this spiritual journey is really a lifelong journey. And as you go along this journey, some practices may not work in the same way it did earlier in the journey. So that's why spirit is saying, take your time. Like for each season, you're going to be doing different things. Um, some of y'all spirit just let me know about like, um, Reiki, you may want to look into that or just looking into some spiritual healing practices because so many people need that healing energy. Um, but even with Reiki for the time being, you may use that for a while and then you just may feel like you need to advance to something um, that will fit your needs better. So just kind of be open to learning new experiences and don't just be uh, stuck on you know, one or two things that you learn because throughout time you will need to evolve and experience new uh, spiritual practices. Next, we have the three of swords um, in the upright. In the spiritual context, this indicates that you are needing of healing. So definitely, I mean, I don't know why Reiki, I think I said Reiki because that's like, it kept popping up recently, but any spiritual practice, even if it's holistic healing, um, acupuncture or taking herbals, uh, to help alleviate symptoms or sicknesses, the herb has what you need to heal yourself. Um, be diligent in doing your research and finding out what herbs and products are good for, um, helping certain symptoms. Also, uh, spirit, just let me know buying crystals, wearing crystal jewelry. I currently have on, um, tiger's eye bracelet i know you can hardly see um but just wearing like lava rocks or anything do your research um explore different things that you can do for yourself a um, meditation just popped up so just taking time to quiet your mind quiet your environment breathe in breathe out um let the holy spirit speak to you all this calms your spirit, especially if you're going into a job. Spirit, just let me know. A lot of you may need to meditate, do a five-minute meditation before you go into your jobs because you hate your job or your job is stressful. But if you go on YouTube and you look up five-minute meditation or do some mantras saying, I will have a blessed and comfortable day, just kind of put that attention out there so that it can flow to you. Um, Law of Attraction also popped up. Uh, with law and traction, just keep in mind it's faith with works. It's one thing to declare and decree something, but also put in action. Um, back to this three of swords. Um, Spirit knows that you're in need of healing. Um, recent events or losses have left you feeling like just drained and sorrowful. Um, you may feel that there is little consolation to be had at this time. However, it's it's often that our greatest sorrows that give us the biggest opportunities to grow, learn and evolve as spiritual being, beings. Spirit wants you to reach out to people you trust for support at this time and allow yourself the time you need to grieve the loss that you experience. Also be open to messages your spirit guides are sending you. They are there to guide you through this storm. Spirit, just let me know. Um, look out for angel numbers. If you don't know what angel numbers is, it's repeating numbers. It could be 111, 222, 333, or it doesn't even have to be um, the same number. Let's say you keep coming across the message um, of the number 301. Like you see 301 on the clock, then you see 301 on um, a receipt. And just Google what does, what's the spiritual meaning of 301? And some of y'all, like actually Google that. The fact that I use 301, for example, that um, number may have a significant message for you, but that's how the universe communicate, how your guys communicate. So look into that, y'all.
the last card we have is the King of Pentacles. So with the King of Pentacles, it indicates that after many years of focusing on the material aspects of life or financial stability, you now have room for something more in your life. All that you need to be secure is in place. Now it's time for you to expand your horizon and connect to the spiritual aspects of yourself. Um, this will enrich your life in ways materialism never could. So for all of you out there who are financially secure, doesn't mean you're rich, but you're, you know, you could pay your bills and you, and you got security. <laughs> Spirit wants you to now focus on your spiritual development. Um, material is just one aspect. You are a spirit first. Your body is just an avatar to be in this world. So please look into um, getting more in tune. Listen to your higher self. Um, listen to your intuition. Um, change your diet, Spirit just said. Um, try to eat more healthy so your body can be clear and you can receive these downloads better. Try to stay away from processed foods. I know it's hard, but if you're financially in a place where you can eat healthier, please do. It will help you inside and out. With that being said, y'all, if this message resonate, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am trying to build this channel. I would love to put out messages full time, but guess what? I have bills. So until that day come, I will continue to work my 12 hour shifts. But <laughs> if y'all like to support this channel financially, please, by all means, donate to my PayPal. This information will be in the description section, or you can cash app because a lot of younger generation like to use cash app. I'll have all that information there. If you like a personal reading, reach out to your girl. I am here for you. Um, this is what I love to do. I've been got to do this. So please y'all show y'all support and please let friends and family members know that spiritual awareness is here. And I really appreciate y'all tuning in. You have a good one. Bye.